I've been considering growing my hair out. I decided against it. We're moving to Texas. I don't want long hair there. All right, guys, time for another update on our journey to a fuller life. Sorry about the new about the noise as you can probably tell I am on my roof again but today I got back I got up here and replaced that vent that had the hole in it and the couple shingle tabs super easy jobs to get done This is not too hard of a job. At all, really. We had our furnace guy come by this morning to do an inspection and got some really bad news. The heat exchanger had a crack in it, so which means that we have to buy a new furnace. Which is not exciting but we knew there were going to be hurdles to jump over and we've been kind of anxiously waiting for some kind of wrench to get thrown into all of our plans because this far everything has been going pretty smoothly for the most part now there's things about you know getting the moving company and stuff scheduled and we've decided that hey we're just going to u-haul it and just at this point with with us moving in two weeks from today it just it makes the most sense for us just to go ahead and, and say you, you, we're doing the U-Haul, we're packing things up, that's our plan. Because we are very much planners and not being able to solidify what we want to do has been driving us nuts. So we're doing that. We, we decided U-Haul, driving it, that's the way we're doing it. We booked plane tickets uh, yesterday, we booked our, uh, we're using a Penske truck, we booked our Penske truck and we got, we got everything ready to go. So we've been kind of sitting around patiently waiting for some kind of wrench to get thrown in the plan and today it happened. We got to buy a new furnace because ours is messed up. Now they're installing it tomorrow and it's not that big. It, it is a big deal, but it's not undoable or it's not, a, um, it's not a deal breaker by any means. It's not preventing us from going forward it just means that you know now we got to spend a good chunk of change that we were not planning on spending. We knew it would happen, so we're prepared, and it is what it is. So I got all the way up on the roof, getting ready to cut those barge boards, and I go to make my first cut, and I realized I didn't have the battery on here. I'm gonna use this four and a half inch Dewalt circular. Uh, circular saw. This thing continues to impress me. I'm thinking today's a hot day, but we're not even in Texas yet. And it's only like 68 degrees here. Which is wonderful, actually. I just finished cutting off all those barred boards. I need to barge, barge boards. I just need to uh, paint them and put some flashing over them. It would be easy. And honestly, people buying our house wanted us to cut them off, but I don't really like how it exposes the gutters. Hey, you guys. So I wanted to hop on here really fast while Tanner is out painting the ends of the boards that he had to cut off and either the last video or the one before Tanner really went into like motivation and the why behind what you do and he really explained how the motivation for our family to move across the country quit our current jobs and really take on a new way of life that's more self-sustainable and 
I would almost say more naturally based. So the why behind wanting that lifestyle, behind doing all that we're doing. And he shared how his motivation is that, is changing our lives, bringing, shortening that supply chain, bringing healthy foods to our family and our friends. Not that they can't access them now, but more locally grown and really knowing the source of your foods. So my why definitely encompasses all of that but it also goes a little bit deeper. What I mean is that I have a different history with food that makes this move hit a lot closer to my heart. And with my history with food, some of you know, um, in high school, I went through a, a very long trial of times where food was not my friend. I had a lot of what seemed like allergic oppositions to food. Um, we actually took them as allergic reactions at the time. And looking back now, I can see that it was um, completely related to my gut health and the fact that I have a sensitive gut. <laughs> like, honestly, there's no better way to put it. It resulted in these allergy-like symptoms that came up sporadically and then constantly and it created a very unpleasant relationship with food it made me anxious about going anywhere that had anything to do with food um, family events going out with friends even cooking in my own home it was scary and it was anxiety ridden and I avoided food as much as possible. And it created not only an unhealthy relationship within myself, but overall an unhealthy body. And what I found I had to do was basically cut out everything. Cut out your top 10 major allergens, egg, dairy, gluten, fish, nuts, soy, everything and go way, way, way down to the very minimum basics. And for years, having to slowly reincorporate foods back into my life in order to let my gut heal from the damage that it experienced earlier on. And now, within the last two years, I'm finally at a healthy place with food where I can go to the grocery store and I'm not second guessing in my mind, is this going to be bad? I'm at a point where I can go out to eat at restaurants and know that what I'm doing in that moment isn't going to cause exponential harm to myself. And so my why now is to maintain the health that I'm finally experiencing and to maintain a positive relationship with my food. And I feel like that is gonna come all the way down to knowing exactly how it was grown, exactly what it was given, exactly how it was harvested, and being in the nitty gritty. It's freeing to know that we're not very far away from that aspect of life. And knowing that like my gut health can continue because of this journey. My why is that not only do I want to provide naturally sourced food for my, myself and my family and my friends, but I want to maintain this, this health that I get to live in that honestly for nine years I didn't have. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed hearing Bailey's why and her motivation for tracking down this life that we've set out for. We are super excited to get to that point of our lives where we are providing food self-sustainably, we are the healthiest that we can be, and that we can offer as much of that lifestyle to our friends, family, and community that we can and that they want. So, as always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up sign, give us a subscribe if you're feeling saucy, Ring the notification bell so you can keep up with our journey to a fuller life and when we post new videos. We'll see you guys next time.